We think, first of all, that Parliament should enact a, a new statute for GMPC, a new law. You know, the founding law of GMPC is PNDC Law 64 of 1983, which has become redundant in many parts. In fact, there are many parts of the law that are no longer applicable because they have been supplanted by, by new legislation in the petroleum sector. Now, the law is not only redundant in many parts, but it, fall, it, it falls short of satisfying the strong and fervent public demand for transparency and accountability from a national oil company in contemporary times. We think a new law would offer the opportunity to revisit or incorporate the following issues among others. One, so these are the things that a new law would help us to do. The considerable latitude given the corporation to engage in diverse kinds of activities may need to be cared. Legislators should consider specifying in the new law the things the corporation cannot do. Two, you know, expansive, expansive public dis information disclosure requirements should be mandated in a new law to strengthen transparency and accountability. Because, you know, this, the law they have now doesn't allow for, I mean, this law was written in 1983 under a military government, you know, where nobody wanted to disclose information. Nobody, you know, in official circles wanted to disclose information. So, so it was that climate that informed the law. And we think that in today's Ghana, with a strong public interest in how revenues are utilized, a new law should provide for expansive public information disclosure requirements. We also think that a corporate governance of the corporation, you know, management board issues, that, should be given a second look. In particular, the powers to appoint the board and the board's composition. We think thought may be given to granting parliament a role in appointing the board and providing for some institutional representation on it. We think the corporate governance can be, can be improved. We think also that Parliament should impose a limit on GMPC CSR budget, a limit that should be established in law. And this limit could be set as a ratio of GMPC's revenue. So it could be a limit that says, you know, in any year GMPC, you cannot spend maybe more than 1% of, of your revenue on CSR you know, to constrain them to operate within a certain, a certain ceiling. You know. And we think that will restrain the scale and cost of the CSR activities and protect revenues needed to expand investments in the oil sector. We think also that Parliament should exercise its oversight effectively by reining in the quasi-fiscal activities of the corporation. And here we think Parliament should mandate GMPC to report to it specially and in comprehensive detail on quasi-fiscal activities. You know. And Parliament should also demand urgent recovery of the current associated claims, you know, with these quasi-fiscal activities. Find, oh, last but one rather, last but one, we think the Ministry of Energy together with GMPC should take a policy decision to divest GMPC of what is remaining of its non-petroleum related investments, you know. So the Pristia Goldman, they should find a way to divest GMPC of it. In addition, we think GMPC should reassess its downstream business which I said is loss making and take steps to make it profitable. Finally, we think GMPC should be proactive in reporting information broadly about its operations to the public, except possibly for commercially sensitive information. Of course, if we write a new law for GMPC or amend some other law to require them to publicly disclose information, you know, then that will take care of this. But, but in the interim, they should be proactive, you know, so that such key information as their annual work program and budget, their audited financial reports, their performance management reports, procurement information, among others, should be published by the corporation in a timely and consistent fashion. We think that making information available to the public to the broadest extent possible will, will enhance transparency, accountability, and public confidence in GMPC.